Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name's Gina and this is Miss Callie Cat. Say hello, Miss Callie Cat. She's like, no, I'm looking at something right now. <laughs> All right, so I have an Amazon haul. Um, little makeup, mostly hair care. Um, if y'all watch my videos, you know, or follow me on Facebook, I went over to my sister's one day. I hung out with her. She washed my hair. She styled it. We played with dry shampoo before we did that. And so I decided to buy a bunch of the products that she recommended to me. Ooh, not cheap. My goodness. Um, and the makeup, that's not it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. The makeup was actually recommended to me from Beauty Has Been, Michelle and Charlotte. They are awesome. I love them. They're super sweet. Great channel. You go and just watch them being mother and daughter and putting on makeup. I love it. They tell you about some great products. Let me tell you, I think I want to buy everything that they have. <laughs> but this is the one I actually decided on. I have one other coming up that they tried at the same time they tried this one. Now, this is a 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel eyeliner what brand are you it is hourglass and it's in the color obsidian let me see if i can see how much i paid for it 28.84 which i actually thought it was more expensive than that but <laughs> okay so this tea tiny little tip so you can make some serious fine lines with it if you want to. And did you see how smooth that goes on? Oh my goodness. So, look at that. I, at first, put it on the top of, you know, like where you always do. And I wasn't really feeling it. I couldn't get it to go across right because anytime that I try to put anything on my eyes, it's like I have a lot of extra skin there and it just bunches up, especially on this eye. So anytime I try to go across, it just, it ends up a hot mess. Let me tell you, a big hot mess. But I did do underneath this time and I like that a lot better. And I think that may be how I wear my eyeliner from now on is on the top waterline and just maybe a little in between my eyelashes. But this was amazing for that. So that is that and let me grab the other stuff and we'll go on to hair okay. care. So, this is the stuff. Actually, there is one thing that did not come in yet. Um, it is a Unite Hair. No, oh, I'm sorry. It is a U Professional Argon Ar, U Professional Argon Oil Hair Oil. And at Amazon, I paid twenty eight dollars for it. We got that to kind of tame my frizz. Um, but like I said, it hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to be here any day. If it does come in, I will add a little snippet of it or something and show you a picture or whatever. Just so you can know what was recommended to me, what was actually used in my hair. I think I did a mint mongoose video with my hair that way. Um, what I have been using since then, since all this stuff just came in, is this Bumble and Bumble Surf. I actually got it in a subscription box. It does a fairly good job. Like if you're going out on the beach, you just get out of the water, towel your hair dry, put some of this on, it'll give you the beachy wave. So yeah, you're supposed to put it in, I think when your hair is wet. I think the birds are trying to chirp over me. <laughs> um, yeah, work evenly into towel dry hair leave-in. So I did try to put it in today even though my hair was dry. Um, I didn't wash my hair today. I was going to and I thought, well, I wanted to play with the makeup first and if I wanted to wash it all off, I could just go take a shower. Um, so I did put this in dry. It did give me a little curl, but I still have a lot of frizz. I also put some, um, what was that stuff? It's Unite Smooth and Shine. Um, let me get that. Okay. Unite Smooth and Shine. I put that in there too, trying to tame the frizz. Um, 
it's a moisturizing shine cream is what they call it. I use this a lot when I do my hair. I will just brush, you know, I'll leave in conditioner, brush some of this in, either blow dry it or let it air dry. Um, I think you can get that at Amazon as well. This is the dry shampoo that I used today. Now, I don't know that it did the best job. What do y'all think? Does my hair look oily? It did give me some texture in there. Um, this is the Petit Bat Batiste. Uh, you know I can't say things correctly. Um, I actually found this at Walmart, but I did order some from Amazon. Now, this is the less expensive of the two. There's two different ones that I use in here in dry shampoo. I use this and I use Amika. Amika is more expensive. This one is, I got a three pack of this, I think for about what you would pay. No, for less than what you would pay for a bottle of Amika. This is $15.05. Let's look up what the Amika is. On Amazon, the Amika is $25 for one bottle. And that's why I went with the three pack of this this time, just to save money, because I was splurging on all of these. But I do kind of rotate. I think Amika does a little better job. Um, I would show you that bottle, but I've already used all of it and had to throw the bottle away. So let's move on to the stuff that I bought. This is another option for the Bumble and Bumble Surf. It is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Textur Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This is something my sister recommended to me. I have not tried it yet, but I'm gonna see if this will give that beach wave, give me some texture and volume because I do tend to go really flat at the top and poofy at the bottom. I don't know. So I thought if I could just spray it around my head, maybe I can get a little bit of lift and I don't know what to do about the bottom of my hair, y'all. <laughs> I could do like my sister did, and curl each individual piece with your finger. <laughs> it doesn't take so long. Okay, she did wash my hair with this Unite uh, Boost Shampoo. It's supposed to give you a little volume. I do like Unite Shampoo. I actually have been using, I think it's called the like six second shampoo or something like that is what I've been using. Oh, they smell so good. And I got the conditioner as well. So we will see how this changes my hair, if it makes any difference or not. These products are, you know, salon quality products. All these Unite are. So they are gonna cost a little more than your regular drugstore um, shampoos would. Now, I rotate my shampoos. I don't use the same shampoo every day or every time I wash. I will use Unite one day, I will use something else, you know. Um, can't think of the name of them right now. You know, just whatever kind of drugstore, $5 shampoo the next time. Yeah, I just kind of rotate. Uh, I think it's good for your hair to do that. I'm looking for the price on these real quick. Um, the conditioner was $30.50. The shampoo is $28.50. So like I said, they are a little more on the pricey side. But since I don't use them every day, I don't go through them super fast. This is the last thing that she recommended to me. And the thing I was the most skeptical about, I mean, it's called Shea Moisture. It's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancer Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. Moisturize and Curl Defining Thick Curly Hair. Now, I do not have thick hair. I have thin hair, but my niece does have thick curly hair, and this was her product that we were using, and it did put curl in my hair, and without me washing it out, even, it lasted like three days, because at night, I take my hair, I put it in a ponytail, I kind of turn it around, and then make a bun out of it, so that it's just all up, out of the way. The next day, I would take it out, I might put a little dry shampoo up here or whatever, and it still was there. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this stuff out. So that's what it looks like. 
This doesn't have a bad smell to it. It is a little, you know, creamy goopy. But we're going to try this stuff out and see how it works um, with me using it, who is a novice, has no idea what they're doing, as opposed to my sister, who has been styling my niece's curly hair for 18 years now. 19? How old is she? 19? I don't know. I can't keep track. I'm doing good to know how old I am. This stuff was $10.24, and it is... 12 ounces. So, I told you about the hourglass. I told you about all that. A lot of information. Um, if you want to use any of these products, I will put links down below. My Amazon links are affiliate links. That means without any extra charge to you, anytime you use my link, you click on a link, it takes you to the web page, it opens it up. You can browse. Put whatever you want in your car, check it out, and I get a commission on whatever it is. Even if it wasn't for what you initially went to go get. You know, you could go and look at the Unite, go on there, buy a ebook or a Kindle reader or a Fire, whatever, I will get a commission on that. I appreciate that greatly because it really does help me out to afford all the stuff that I show y'all on a daily basis. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Y'all also, I would love to hear your comments. What dry shampoo do you use? What shampoos and conditioners do you use? Um, what do you, what kind of products? All of that good stuff. I wanna know what you use so I can try and find something that works for me. Um, I really appreciate y'all spending time watching me and my Cali cat who's been pretty steadily zoned in on the birdies. Um, my hummingbird's up there now. Y'all, if you like this video, please press that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, while you're down there, of course, comment. I love reading y'all's comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please, I just reached 300. I am so thrilled. Thank you so very much. It's, you know, it, it amazes me every day that anybody would want to spend time with me because, you know, to me, I am just this normal average girl who knows nothing about anything, you know, and I just want to thank you so very much. Please share me with your friends. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share, and press that notification bell so you'll know when I put new videos out. Because every once in a while I do pop out a weird time. Um, we have some collaborations coming up. They'll be coming on at different times than normal. Um, they come on at noon Eastern Standard Time. That's to where I normally post at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. On Saturdays I post at 10 um, Central Standard Time three o'clock central standard time y'all i get so confused so easily <laughs> y'all i'm moving on y'all have a wonderful day and god bless